Mainstream physics believes our sun is powered by nuclear fusion providing an outward pressure that has to be balanced by the inward force of gravity. But would nature use such a complicated process as nuclear fusion when there is a much simpler alternative in the form of an ionized plasma dynamo? A spherical plasma dynamo would take energy in the form of plasma flow from the local interstellar medium converting it into electromagnetic energy forming heat and light. Neutral particles from the local interstellar medium would become ionized spiraling down forming an electrical current in the plasma flow. This would power the plasma dynamo that would act like a superconducting coil producing the sun's magnetic fields. The magnetic fields then restrain the plasma creating resistance producing heat and visible light. This can be seen during a solar eclipse when magnetic field lines can be seen in the sun's outer corona restraining the outward flow of plasma. In this theory there is no need for a balance between the outward pressure and the inward force of gravity, because gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. This can be seen mathematically with both electromagnetic force and the gravitational force sharing the inverse square law. The light photon of quantum mechanics is the carrier of the electromagnetic force with the movement of charge forming one universal process of energy exchange. As in Newton's third law of motion, to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Gravity is the opposite reaction to the spontaneous emission and absorption of photon energy. This dynamic theory of gravity links electrical potential, gravitational potential, and quantum potential with the potential uncertainty of our everyday life. Plasma is an integral interactive part of this process with a spherical helix-shaped whirlpool of swirling plasma acting like a dynamo creating electric and magnetic fields that together these fields prevent the current flowing through the plasma from peaking and crashing. Because of this the current conductivity of the plasma within the sun generates a stellar magnetic field resulting in higher pressure in the center of the plasma being significantly greater than at the edge, creating a gradient between the two sections. As a result, the magnetized region rises relative to the remainder of the plasma, until it reaches the sun's photosphere. This creates a higher temperature cellular, or spherical shell represented by the photosphere. The great contrast between the higher temperature photosphere with the cooler plasma below can be clearly seen when upwelling magnetic flux pushes through the photosphere exposing the cooler plasma below in the form of dark sunspots. In this theory the photosphere is a double layer consisting of two parallel layers with opposite electrical charge. With the outer convex surface representing positive charge, and the inner concave surface representing negative charge. This is a universal process, and can be seen in this experiment from the International Space Station, where plasma in the form of a candle flame in near zero gravity forms a sphere. That is interacting with the environment relative to the outer and inner surface of the sphere. This double nature can also be seen when the photosphere erupts producing a solar flare in the form of a horizontal dipole loop of positive and negative charge. Positive and negative charge is an innate part of all matter. The sun is not an isolated object based on some alien process that is not relative to the rest of life and nature. The photon is the carrier of positive and negative charge with photon energy cascading down from the sun forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization and also greater degrees of freedom for the diversity and complexity of life. We have one universal process with the universe being a continuum with an uncertain future unfolding photon by photon relative to the atoms of the periodic table. 
The great difference with plasma is that the movement of charge is not relative to the atoms, but the geometrical process remains the same with the future unfolding relative to the geometry and dynamics of the plasma with the movement of positive and negative charge. With plasma this process is unfolding over an extremely large area, but it is basically the same process as when an artist creates a work of art relative to his energy and momentum. Thanks for watching, please rate and subscribe it will help the promotion of this theory.